Hi everyone, I'm Shauna Yao, CEO and your marketing mastermind at TotalGenius.net. And today, by popular demand, I'm going to talk about money and actually making money every month so that you can have a business that makes money <laughs> and a business that you love. So I actually did a poll in my group uh, last night and discovered that many people, in fact, the majority of people, are having difficulty making a monthly income. You know, forget the, I'm going to make a million dollars and setting your goals really high. But it seems like a lot of people are struggling just to make a minimum monthly income so that you can either quit your job, pay your bills, and, uh, and not have to worry about money. And in fact, uh, and that's going to be, I believe, step number nine, but uh, worrying about money is actually, actually not only is bad, but it actually can be seen online and uh, can drive people away. So uh, I, this is something that is just really important to understand if you are not making money in your business or if you are making money some months and not making money the other months. So this is about having a consistent income. This is not make a million dollar video. If you want that, you know, you may have to go watch somebody else. So I'm going to give you 10 things that are essential to having a profit generating business. And some of this may be a little hard to, to hear, but if you really grasp hold of this, you will understand how you can apply these things to you and your individual situation. And, uh, and I'm coming up with a, um, a webinar coming up regarding all of this, and I'll give you some worksheets that you can use for planning. But, you know, over 90% of new businesses fail in the first year. And that's just frightening. So making a consistent income is just so important to building your success. And truthfully, I think part of the problem has been is that, yes, you know what? A lot of people, or no, I'm sorry, not a lot, but a few people have created really big success that you may have seen online. And they did so rather quickly. So just like how Roger Bannister run, ran the four minute mile and it then opens up the possibility that, yeah, you know, you could make a lot of money, but if you haven't figured out your, your individual money code and you want to make that amount of money that somebody else made in their own way, copying them is not going to help you do that. So this is about customizing it to who you are what your strengths are, what you're selling, and all of that. So that's what these 10 steps are going to involve. So number one is um, you, don't, you may not have a job, or maybe you do, but just because you start a business doesn't mean you don't have a job. In actuality, now you actually have a business that is a job. Yes, do what you love and all of that. But having building a business, you know, once you learn your money code and you have money coming in and, and recurring clients, that's great. But until you reach that point, and even still, having a business is a job. It is it is hard work. And it's hard work to keep up, whether you're making nothing or you're making a million dollars. I mean, there are things that you have to actually do and you have to do them every day. Just like how a job is structured, there's individual people doing individual things. If you are that solopreneur, I think Mar Michael Gerber wrote that book, you know, the four different roles that you need to play. You have to play all those roles. If you, if you can't afford to hire somebody, you are the CEO, but you're also the employee. 
And so that means that you have to have a consistent schedule. You have to discipline yourself so that you create the habit of success from the start. This means having a morning routine. I, I mean, I'm sure that you've read every article out there about the successful morning routines of successful CEOs. You have to have a morning routine that enables you to think clearly in a deliberate and focused way and being happy and inspired. You can't just roll out of bed and jump on your laptop because that's not where clarity is found. And what you'll end up doing, and this is just not your fault, but you'll end up getting sucked into social media, sucked into other people's problems, opening your email and getting sucked into that. And then by the end of the day, when you feel like you haven't accomplished enough, and then you feel like you have to get up the next morning and roll out of bed and start working again, that's how lack of clarity and scatteredness happen. And nothing good comes from that. So understand that you have a business, that, which means, regardless if you have a job, you actually have a job. And that job is to manage your business and work in it. All right. Okay. So number two, and actually, well, I, I'll probably put the I'll put the link in afterwards. But I created the five minute marketing journal. There is a tutorial that you can access for free on my website, and you can you can then. Um, understand the different ways that you can create this habit of success for you. All right, so number two is that you have to understand that there is no one answer. I'm not your answer. Uh, I mean, I mean, I'm not your one answer. There is no one coach that's going to help you. There's not one course that you're going to take that's going to grow and scale you. It's a combination of different things, but what you have to understand is the right person, if, if you, you, first of all, you need to narrow down your focus. This is not about like learning from everybody. I always recommend that you have one or two people that you decide you're gonna learn from because when it's when you start mixing in all the different things that everybody's advising because i'm going to tell you answers are everywhere you can find answers everywhere answers on google answers from the, this person answers from that person that have, and they've all created success but if you try to do all of them or take little bits and pieces it's still not a formula until it is for you and it will cause you to keep looking for different answers because there, as I said answers are everywhere focus on I, I this is I just recommend one to two people you can even say three but then decide that they have the answer they have the answer to what you're going on in your mind they have the answer to um, to your budget they have the answer to your business and then dedicate and commit yourself to learn from them because just trying to learn it all and do it all is is not the solution and buying a course is is not the solution if you don't know about business it is very difficult to learn something uh, virtually and think that that will be that will enable you to understand your highest value how to position yourself in your business how to have the confidence how to know all the insider things that people do because I always say you know it's not what people are teaching it's how they're teaching you have to see the silent things that happen in that in, in who they are as a person how they show up Number three is, and this is uh, something that uh, I, I can't remember the, the survey people that did it, but it, it's, it's an it's a international survey of the top reasons why businesses fail. And two of those reasons are your product or service and your marketing. 
So number three is your product or service. You have to sell something that your people value. So whoever it is that you speak to, that's your target niche, you have to sell something that is in your highest value, that you believe in, so your values, that enables you to be able to sell it effectively, number one. And number two, it solves an urgent problem for people. So you may want to go back and watch my earlier video about the difference between a problem and an urgent problem. The problem that you solve is the thing that people buy, you know, y y whatever. I, I have a, um, I want to lose weight. I want to build a business. Those are things that people will spend money for. The urgent problem is the thing that your personality solves. You, you know, your, what, your strong opinion, your positioning, that solves an urgent problem for somebody. So your product or service needs to do those two things in order for it to sell. And so if it's not selling, it's missing one of those two things or both of them. This is why I always recommend that if you're selling like a service or even like a product, that you don't try to do it in your own head because you can't see all the magic that's going on inside of you. And until you know your positioning, you don't know it. All the journaling in the world is never going to help you find it. And that's a strong statement, but I, I truly believe this because you still can only see yourself as you see yourself. It, you can't see the gold that lives inside of you because you're still you. And if you haven't been able to see it yet, I, I don't know that there's a way that you will be able to see it. It's found in when your personality was created usually between the ages of zero and seven. That's what I've, I have seen in all of my clients. And that, that thing, I call it the thing behind the thing, that thing is the magic of your positioning and it solves an urgent problem. All right, so it's your product and service it needs to provide value, solve an, a problem and an urgent problem, be priced correctly, all of it. Number four, it's your marketing. So this is, I know I say, <laughs> I say this all the time, but if you aren't making a steady monthly income, building your list is not the fastest way to earn a steady monthly income. It's just not. And so, you know, this is something that I, I really believe strongly in. And especially if you are in the coaching industry is that you need to build a high value, maybe some people call it high ticket program that solves a problem and an urgent problem. And then that is the first thing you sell because your marketing should, <coughs> needs to be focused. Your marketing actually needs to be focused on what it is that you, that, you, that you are selling, the Harlow, the problem and the urgent problem. And, and it needs to reflect the journey of the person that you speak to, your best business friends, the, your clients. Your marketing is easy when you make it a part of you. And in actuality, you know, I, I see a lot of people struggling with their marketing because they're trying to do, like make it be really systemized, but your marketing, it's to bring awareness for what it is that you sell. That doesn't mean like you sell it all the time. It means that you understand that people are attracted to and make decisions from their emotional brain, where your gut decisions, heartfelt feelings are. We may justify them with our stupid thinking brain, but until you can get to the emotion, people judge things first by their fear brain and by 
not being interested because there's so much stuff out there. So I would like to say even that good isn't even noticeable sometimes. It's about being not the best, but different than what other people are doing. And you don't have to try to be different. You are different. (laughs) You're one of 7 billion people in the world. So if you can just be you out loud, that's a different marketing proposition. And when you can creatively express it, so if you're listening to me, you're probably more in the creative zone. There you go. It's not about doing the things in a very, you know, automated way, especially when you are just beginning. You know, I I recommend that when you're just beginning, don't automate because your job is not to automate. You can then go and take a vacation or then go and try to do more. Your job when you are first beginning or when if you're not making the steady monthly income is to get to know your money code, get to know your marketing, get to know the people that you're talking to, get to see what works. You know, it, it's, it's just understanding how you best show up. So I, I recommend you don't automate, that you do things live so that you can understand your own emotion and do that in your marketing. All right, number five is you're, you want to go deep, not wide. By deep, I mean that you really want to focus in on your highest value and values and sell maybe one thing. That one thing, so if you're in coaching, like it's a high-end signature program, so that you can then focus on your marketing. Because the truth is, you know, it isn't about visibility that's, that's keeping you um, not making a monthly income. It's about bringing awareness to the people that you serve. So this is about understanding what it is that you serve. Not just who, but what it is that you do that is the best that you do. And having a product that stands behind that. Because it takes just as much work to do something that's cheap, that there's like a ton of, so everyone can have a big selection. Because then you're talking to nobody. Or to have one product and only have to sell two of them or one of them every month. Then you make a monthly income. Because what happens on the other side, if you try to do this really slow, that you will not understand your positioning. You will spend a lot of time doing a lot of random things, trying to be an awareness to a lot of different things, and then you're, again, not speaking to anybody specific. And you're not making a monthly income. And in the meantime, your confidence is straight down. So go deep, not wide. Okay, Um, speed of implementation or I'd like to say, in other words, stop trying to be perfect. (laughs) I'll just say that to myself. Stop trying to be perfect. (laughs) I'm not perfect, clearly, but, you know, high achievers, we like to strive for being the best. And I know for me, you know, I like to really, like, focus in and make sure the images are just right and it takes me forever to write an article. I put a lot of time into it. I want to make sure it's right. And at a certain point, this is the rule of the fuck it rule. Everybody needs to apply this. You need to know this. It's called the fuck it rule. The fuck it rule is something I created because I got so sick of my overthinking brain. <laughs> and in order to use the speed of implementation step, You actually need to just start producing and be willing to put yourself out there. Know when you're going to fail. Fail. Learn. Do it all over again. Learn. Fail. Get back up. Win. Fail. Get back up. That's just the way life is. Period. 
If a baby tries to walk and it falls, you don't say, too bad, and wait till the next one. No. You know, we're all babies until we're pros in our business. And so you have to understand, and in our life, I'm sorry, but I've never been 49 before. <laughs> and I'm sure that there'll be something whole new that I need to learn when I'm 50. Because that's just the way life is. You have to understand that it's an up and down thing. And so fear, it's only natural that you don't want to fail. It's like, you know, jumping into an ocean if you don't know how to swim. But the truth is, you have willingly jumped into this ocean of entrepreneurship. So now you just have to learn, you know, uh-oh, I swallowed some water. I need to now come up for air. I want you to look at the times in your life that you failed in the past. And look, you're still here. And everything's just fine. You know, I've had many failures in my past. And I'm sure I'll have many in my future. I've made many mistakes. And during, before I really understood what life was, I just thought it was like I was devastated. But then, you know, I started to really learn to trust myself. And trust that and believe that life happens for you. It really does. And it's us that get in the way. We're supposed to be successful. You're supposed to make money. You're supposed to wake up and be happy. And if you're not, something has gone wrong. And it's, you've gotten in your own way. Number seven is... Uh, niche down so you I, I this is where visibility comes in where I'm so strongly against this your job every day is not to be visible if visible is in your language please remove it because if you get online every day and you think I need to be visible what ends up happening is that you subconsciously try to be visible to everybody you try to be visible and i don't care if you think that you're not looking at likes it's just a natural human tendency and so what ends up happening subconsciously is that you start to not speak things that are of a strong opinion of what you believe and then you know what ends up happening is that you end up blending in. Sure, people may like you. And you may think that you're visible. But the truth is, do those people, are they going to buy from you? Do, do they care about what you actually do for a living? Or are they just like, they be, are you just visible for the hell of it? Are you in a big Facebook group and think that that's where you're going to gain your success and be visible? Because if you are, maybe that's worked for some people. I, I don't know of any, but I don't hang out on Facebook groups. But I want you to understand that that's only one path. And personally, I, I felt like I was wasting a lot of time when I was in Facebook groups. And it, it, it made me feel icky, like, wow. Look at all these people that don't understand their value. It was, it was just a, a very weird way. And then I woke up and was like, what am I doing? This is ridiculous. Nobody who has a successful business that I respect is on, even on Facebook. Except like just to share their big wins that they made in, an, on another platform or in, in something else. And it doesn't mean go away from Facebook. I, I, that is also a bad thing, but it's about understanding that you have to understand what it is that attracts and where your, your target niche is and to not just be visible. It's to provide value to your target niche. Number eight is that you have to have a process. You have to have a system, a system for your success. This is part of, of mastering your money code. You have to have a system that you know goes, you have a product to sell and you have you. You have 
this and being between there is the amount of time you have every single day. Now you have to know what sort of system will lead you from point A to point Z and you know, are you just doing your social media? Because that's not a system that works. Doing your social media is not going to get you a steady monthly income. It's just not. I mean, that's not a system. I, I heard this and I think this is something that, that should, should live in your brain. The amount of money you're making is the exact amount of money that your sales and selling system allows you to make. That makes building a list, if you're not making a monthly income, kind of stupid. Because unless you're waiting to, until your list is 10,000 people to make money, I don't know, I would like to pay my bills every month. Don't you see? Like, make money. Then you can understand how you are actually getting clients. And then, you know, in actuality, you don't have to build a list. Your list will build when you have uh, income and you have your money code, right? My mentor, you know, he, he has a, um, an animal rescue and, and a dog food company. I'm sorry, but he, I mean, this was just a couple months ago that he decided to use Facebook as a, a tool to get his rescue because he had a strong mission. Before that, he's had a very successful, thriving uh, dog food company and had very few followers on Facebook. And now he has like uh, hundreds of thousands. I haven't looked at it lately, but you know, just because he had a strong mission, but he was already making money. Okay, so number nine, fear. Okay, so Fear obviously is bad. You don't want to have fear, but fear is something that's subconscious. It, it is actually, it just, not only does it steal your joy, but it steals your highest value when you're, when you get on video, when you, even when you just go on Facebook and what you don't see, but other people do is that you are putting out a signal of desperation. And this is something you need to really take a step back to understand. But if you're not making a monthly income, and let's just say that, that you have to, then all of your actions are based on that fear. You have no idea. You may pay for that program, buy that course, hang out in that group, think that you need to, you know, network with influencers and all of that and spend more time online. You may be writing something that it's just like the subtle word of it or even not appearing at all on Facebook. All those things are silent signals of not owning your value. And do you know who doesn't make money every month? People that don't own their value. Because then you're not doing the things you need to do and should be thriving in in order to make that monthly income. And part of that formula is just being your successful self now. And I know, you know, this whole video is about not making your monthly income. So you're thinking like, how can I be my successful self now if I'm not making my monthly income? You need to understand this is the, probably the most important thing that you're going to learn about life is how to, what are the feelings associated with, the, with how you will feel when you are successful? Not, I'm so rich, I'm, you know, on the boat of Par in Paris. It's not, that's not what I mean. I mean, when you wake up every day, how will you feel? What will you, what will be the first thing you do? Cause I guarantee if you are owning your success, the first thing you will do is probably not check your email. You'll probably get up 
do, like go walk with your dog, get all excited for all the things you want to do during the day, take care of your own business stuff, get organized in your mind, and then you'll take care of the business stuff. And then you'll like allow a lot of time for deep work where you're thriving in your creativity. And then at night, you'll probably spend time with your family and, and, uh, and get all situated for the next day. And you, during the whole process, you may have like moments of panic, but you know what? Because you are owning your, your success and you're confident inside, even like challenges, instead of like, oh my God, what am I gonna do? You're like, okay, you know what? That really sucks. That sucks. You may even cry, but then you'll be like, I know I can fix it. It may take time. It may suffer a loss, but in the end, I, I, I trust myself. Understand what your successful self feels, and then that should be what you work for every day. Not to make money, not to be the richest person online, not to be the most visible, but to own your expertise in here, in here, and everywhere. Number 10, this is very tactical and real. You need a budget. Do you know how much you've spent this month in your business? Do you look at it every day? Do you know how much you've made in your business? Do you know uh, where your money goes every month? Do you know, do you, do you have a system for making money? Do you know how many clients you need to get? Do you, um, do you know where those clients are? Do you know how many clients you talk to every month? How many clients you need to talk to in order to convert them to, to your monthly income? Do you need to get a side job? Have you worked out your budget? Where is your time going? Your time, you know, in one of my other videos, I told you with the formula, it's, it's about 168, that, $168 an hour if you want to be making six figures and you're working 40 hours a week. So that means that, you know, what did you do today? Did uh, did $1000 just fly out the door because you didn't do, you didn't you weren't working? <laughs> That's the way you have to think. Don't don't charge $168. That's not what I'm saying. So that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that your time at the minimum should be worth $168. So this means you need to be at your highest value, not working all the time. It's about working smarter, not harder. Because part of your work should be, you know, rejuvenating, resting, relaxing, understanding, you know, active focus meditation. Right? So I hope that that's helped you. Those are 10 steps that you need and 10 things that you need in a profit generating business. And I'm going to have a webinar on this whole subject. So you can apply it specifically to you coming up. So you may want to be on the watch for that. If this video has been of value to you, and if you know some friends that really need this, because I'm telling you, this is, this, is, this is a very common thing. It's not just you. It's probably the majority of entrepreneurs out there. So I would appreciate if you would share this with people and post any questions uh, after. Because right now, I'm going to go uh, rejuvenate and spend time walking my love of my life, Harlow. So have a great Sunday night. I'll see you guys tomorrow.